Hey guys, this is Candid Lord. Welcome to my channel. If you have any questions, please email me or DM me. If you have, it's not gonna be DM. My email is gonna be below, or you can comment in the video if you have any questions. So I decided to do this video because I want to tell you guys how I got my first, how my first, how I got my first, how how I opened my first big account and how the process was and what was the reason why I got my first big account. So let's go. I remember when I was in high school, it was about to be junior year. I got my first job. The job, the job was a, it was, it was after school program that one of my teachers had, and she was the, the director of it. So she had that program since she, since I had her sophomore year. So she enrolled me in the program. So she said it was a program where I would help my favorite professors or somebody. Any teachers that I choose to work with within the school, all I would have to do is go after school and help them grade papers. So I was like, okay, this is pretty smooth. So I could grade. So I'm going to give some scores. So I went and found the professor that I wanted to work with. So she agreed. So then I went and tell the director of the program how this is going to be. So, okay. So... So yeah, she agreed. So my first day, I went and found that professor. I got to her classroom. So she told me what I was going to do. So she said, X, Y, and Z, Lorvena, you, here's what you're going to do. You're going to have to grade these papers because those are for my previous classes. You know, I have a lot of a lot of peers every day. So you just got to grade the papers. After you grade them, you can go home and clock in, clock out. Then that was that. So every day, that's what I did after school. I was in junior year, so I was I was like 16. So it was junior year, I was 16. So I went and graded these papers and clock in, clock out every day. So so that was that. Then then after uh, every Friday I have to bring the paper to Miss Gilbert. The Miss Gilbert was the lady that was in charge of the program. So I I gave her the paper so she submit the payroll. It was like payroll. While we're doing that, it kind of made me feel like it kind of introduces me to work the workplace how the workplace is because i never i never really thought about it that way until now i'm not been working for two years in the real workforce so yeah i mean i post graduate but i had other job before that so disregard that part so yeah so it, it, it made it feel like the real workforce so i clock in clock i remember the first day I was getting my first check. I was excited. So we all gathered in the classroom. Me, there, it wasn't only me. There was other students there too. So we all gathered in the classroom. So they were caught, they were doing it by name. Like they was like, X, Y, and Z, present. So you got excited. You walk in, rubbing your hands, about to collect a check. So that's how it was. So X, Y, and Z, you walk in, you get your check. Then you go back and sit. Then that's how it was every every year. Like, I mean, every year, every payday, everybody got excited to collect their check. So, I was one of them. So I collect my first check. My first check. My mom took me to Chase because we knew somebody that worked there. So the per so the lady was asking, how will you be? How will you? How will money be coming to the account? I was like, I, I got a little job. I got a little job at the school. You know, I'm getting a little bag. Like. At the time, I thought I was gonna look bad because a hundred dollars was a lot. It was a bag because I had no bills. So, don't mind me. It was still a bag. A bag is a bag, no matter how you put it. A hundred, a twenty, a ten, still a bag for a sixteen-year-old kid that had no real bills that she had to pay for her parents. So, I was getting a little bag. I was stacking up my bag. So yeah, I got that little bag. I kept saving it. So I'm the type. If I get a little money. I'm going to save it for rainy days. So that that's how I've always been. That's how I've always been ever since I was a child. My sibling always feel a little weird when I do that. I always like save a little money. Well, bills I love now. Why are you saving this? X, Y, and Z, X, Y, like it's cheap. But I'm like, man, these people are calling me cheap. Really? Y'all calling me cheap? Okay, I'm going to be cheap. Let me be cheap. Let me be cheap. But I, 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 I. In my mind, I wouldn't call it cheap because I would call it financial responsibility because if you know what you're doing with your money and you learn how to spend it wisely because 
you gon' always learn to fall on yourself because you manage your finances well. Because not everybody has the ability to fi- to manage their finances because they could have the money right now and it has gone tomorrow. Even though I said you gotta save it, but you gotta still help other people. That's what I was doing. I was helping, but I was still saving because I wasn't spending like do frivolous spending. I was spending the things that I needed to buy, the things that I wanted to purchase. I purchased it. If I don't want to purchase something, I just save it. Because I was like, what's the point? Because there's going to be a rainy days anyway. So I'm not always going to have. So I got to find a way to fall back on me. So I was like, I've always had that principle. So I, I got that little bag. I, I was so happy. I got a check coming in. I got a little bag coming in every week, every Monday. We go to Miss Gilbert, to Miss Gilbert office. We collect our check. So after we collect our check, we go home. Right, it's a it's a wrap. We're happy. We're getting a check. I remember when that program ended, nobody was happy. We were not happy at all. I was like, we we got used to collecting checks. Now we ain't got no more checks coming in. What are we gonna do? Then that's when at the time we part Wobbly was gonna turn eighteen, seven like eighteen. So it was like I might as well get a real job. So that's how I got my first bank account with that school after school program and it was a good way of teaching me the importance of money and how money is earned and how to spend it because once you start working for it it gives you a different respect for it because you don't want to spend it like this here 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 you gotta respect money because if you respect if you respect money money gonna respect you back so that's how I got my first big account. I, I advise all high school kids, look into this program in your high school. Go to your counselors. Talk to them. Ask them if they have any after school program that's going to enable you to make some money. It's like a job. It's going to teach you responsibility. So you might as well ask. Because you never know. Maybe they still have the program in the current high school. So if they don't have it, I'm sure they have something else. So find out if it, they have it so you can earn some money. And be independent. You're not going to be fully independent. Cause, but learn to become independent at an early age. Financial independence. That's how you build that. As you get older, the, the habit sticks with you. So take into account that. All right. Thank you for all listening to me. Ramping about how I got my first job. My first check. <laughs> the program that gave it to me. So if you want to know, like, because I'm going to keep posting things, how I did certain things. So please subscribe and share with friends to see, to help me build this channel. Because I want to reach 100 by the end of December, 100 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you guys share with your friends. And if you know me, if we talk, we cool, bruh, please subscribe. At least support. I'll return the favor. So that's that. Help me build this channel. Thank you in advance. All right. Bye. Ta-da.